All right, ready to go. Drivers behind the line. Pilots prepare to take flight. Three, two, one, go. Quarterfinal two, match number two has begun. The Sonic Screwdriver is looking to score a couple shots into the high efficiency boiler. Looks like none of them made it. But that's all right. They're still getting points. They're moving past that baseline. We now enter into the tele-operated period. 105 blue, 75 red. Your score early on in the match. Blue Alliance has the advantage. If they win this, they move on. Gear slides effortlessly into the ever-capable control mechanism of Team 4150. They're now attempting to make their way over to the airship. They're meeting a bit of a challenge as the sonic screwdrivers have them pinned up against the wall. It looks like they're stuck. Not quite sure what's happening there, but they still have plenty of time left, 85 seconds. A lot of action happening over on the red side of the field. Looks like Frobotics broke free and they're now moving back to the airship with the gear in tow. 145 blue, 115 red, still blues game. as the Lightning Bots deliver another gear to the pilots aboard the airship. That's what they needed to get that third rotor spinning, and that'll put them in the lead by 10 points with a little over half a minute remaining in quarterfinal two, match number two. We now see all three ropes swinging for the Red Alliance airship, Blue Alliance doing the same. We'll find out if any of these robots are ready to take flight in 15 seconds. 160 to 145, Red Alliance now in the lead, trying to send this into a tie-breaking match. Blue Alliance has one robot signaling they're ready to go with a second on the far side of the field, climbing with two seconds left. Red Alliance with two robots ready to go. And that match is in the books. Let's find out if we have a second tiebreaker match final series. The airships lift off, rotors spinning, zooming through the line is the Red Alliance with a score of 260 to Blue Alliance's 245. And with that, we have a second tiebreaker.